one of the most important aspects of cold email is to send emails from a business email address. So if you already have your business email set up, you can go ahead and skip this video. Otherwise, in this video, we'll be showing you how to set up a business email address using Google Workspace. Let's dive into it. So in order to set up a business email address, you first need a domain. I generally recommend purchasing a domain from Namecheap, but you can use whichever service you'd like. Next, you need to make sure you have a Google Workspace account. So just search Google Workspace and pop up here and click get started and basically just follow the prompts. Once you're in the Google Workspace, what you need to do is verify the domain. So I purchased a domain, it's a test domain that we use for Leadloft. And then I also purchased um, a Google Workspace account. So let's hop in really quickly. So here within Google Workspace, you wanna to go to account, domains, manage domains. At the top, you wanna to click add a domain. So let's click it, we'll add a new one. The domain we're using here is called leadloft.org. There we go. And we'll click add domain and start verification. Okay, no problem, we'll click continue. We'll copy this verification code. We'll hop over to the domain we purchased, leadloft.org. We'll go over to advanced DNS. We'll scroll down here. Add a new record, we'll add a text record. Here's the value. The host will just be apt. We'll click the checkbox. There we go. So now it's all saved and we're updated. Okay, great. Now if I got, go over to verify your domain, I've already gone through this process. Let's scroll, scroll down. Okay, you can just follow this if you need some additional help, but I've already gone through the steps. Now let's scroll down and click verify my domain. And it should go through. Sometimes it takes a couple minutes for it to, to propagate, but we'll see here. And basically what you're doing in this instance is you're telling Google that I do in fact have permission to use this domain to send emails. So that's what we're going through right now. There we go, it took around seven minutes or so. Now that we're back into Google Workspace, we can see that you can actually see that the, the domain has been verified under our list of domains. I'll scroll down here, I'll click activate Gmail. Set up MLUX records, okay. I'm going to click next. And basically we're just gonna, gonna follow these steps. And they're just MX records we're gonna be adding to our DNS, similar to the text record. Okay, but I'll say I'm ready to receive all emails for leadloft.org. Yep, we are in Namecheap. Okay, cool, they have little instructions here that we can follow. We'll hop back over into Namecheap. We'll scroll down, mail settings, we'll say Gmail. Automatically configured, save changes. There we go. I'll hop back over to the workspace. We'll click activate Gmail. And again, sometimes it takes a couple minutes, but they're gonna go ahead and check them. And there we go. The MX records have been added and the domain has been verified. Next, all we need to do is add users. So I can scroll over here and click add users. And now we just need to add our names and create the email. We'll say zap at leadlot.org. Of course, you can change this if you'd like. And then just click add new user. And there you go, you've now just created your first Google Workspace email with a custom domain. Again, you're gonna use this to send cold emails. We'll see you in the next lesson.